I creep over to the bags and find Deshaun sitting right there waiting for me. I open his bag and I So as you know, if you watched the first half of this story, if you haven't, go watch, then come back to this video. Somebody that I viewed as a homie, someone I called friend, completely severed any bond that we had. He stole something that belonged to me and I was determined to get it back. I had come up with a plan. The plan was to beat him at his own game. It was simple. Steal my Beyblades back. We all know he was a thief. And to catch a thief, you have to enter the mind of a thief. Yeah, I could have gotten adults involved, but that would have brought down the whole operation and everybody involved. Plus, I ain't no snitch. See, I knew every day since he stole from me, he would bring them with him to the Boys and Girls Club to battle. He would do this every day, like it was clockwork. He would come in, place his bag by the cubbies, and talk to his friends before they would go to battle. So I saw this as my window of opportunity. Now, all I needed was an alibi, just in case the adults got involved. I made my mom come pick me up early that day. I don't remember the reasoning I gave. I probably told her I miss her, but I used her so that I would be in the clear once I made my move. The day comes for me to make my move. Deshaun comes in, sits his bag down, and goes to talk to his friends, leaving his bag unattended and me in the perfect position to take back what's rightfully mine. I creep over to the bags and find Deshaun sitting right there waiting for me. I open his bag and I see them. My precious Beyblades. A little scuffed up from the usage, but still looking almost as good as they did when they were in my possession. I take the Beyblades and place them in my bag. I didn't send my bag down because I wasn't about to get caught lacking again. I'm going throughout my day and suddenly I hear, Hey, somebody stole my Beyblades. I start to panic. I start to sweat. The guilt is showing all over my face. I'm looking at the time thinking, where's my mom? She should have been here by now. Then over the announcements I hear, Elijah, your ride is here. Elijah, your ride is here. I go to make my escape, but as I'm nearing the door, I walk past Deshaun and he has this, this look of disgust on his face. Like he knows that I'm the one who took him. But it doesn't matter. I was home free. I get in the car and drive home. I never brought my Beyblades back to the Boys and Girls Club again. I was content just knowing that I had my possessions back in my hands. And now that I think about it, Beyblades back then were made out of actual metal and spun at dangerously high speeds. Hmm. We didn't have any business playing with those as kids.